Good morning. Good morning. It's Tune In Tuesday. It's Tune In Tuesday. That's it. Sometimes. Gotta keep you on your toes. Sometimes you just gotta stick it out. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It is Tune In Tuesday where we talk about what we talked about on Sunday. Yeah. Where neither of us talked. And yet, my heart got filled right up to the top. Yeah. Good morning, Donna. Good morning. So come on in. It's going to be a great day. The mm -hmm. sun is shining. The eclipse happened. And oh, look, we're still here. Wow. I, I'm i so glad that for the safety of the children, school was canceled. School was canceled? <laughs> Yes, elementary schools were canceled, and and Catholic high school, public high school was in. These are things I didn't know. Really? Because of the eclipse. Yeah, and I, because of the timing of it, and the the worry that people would, that kids would stare up at it. I, I, I yeah. When I was a kid. <laughs> I looked at the sun. That's what I did. We stared at the sun. It made us stronger. <laughs> but I, the eclipse is over. You can go back to staring at the sun. That's fine. <laughs> I have to admit, on the I think we had an eclipse when I was little. And yes, I looked at it. <laughs> oh. Here I am. Good morning, Laurel. It's good to see you. Paul and Sue, it's going to be a great day. Yeah. It's going to be a great day. It got dark. It did. But apparently, um, so, and we were 97% totality, um, where it was 100%. It, it actually got really dark. Like, it looked like a sunset, wow. uh, like twilight, like beyond sunset, I guess. Um, Good morning, Jake. So, and, and apparently even from 99 to 100, there was a major really? difference in, in how dark it, because it, I mean, 100% is 100% the sun is blocked. Um, so yeah, I watched NASA footage Ooh. and it was, it was pretty neat to watch for sure. I watched the inside of my eyes. <laughs> Your eyes were eclipsed. My eyes <laughs> were eclipsed. So At good morning. Four, three in the afternoon. It was my day off. I was napping. Mm -hmm. I had a tough morning of planning a vacation. <laughs> And then I had a nap. I'm like, enough of this thinking stuff. Well, I laid down on the couch and listened to an audiobook, but my eyes were closed. <laughs> All right. So, oh, Velma, where are the kittens? Oh, boy. Well, well there's... Oh, there's Carmel, the who old... does not necessarily like people. There she is. Yeah. Nope. Oh, the Wrong old way. guard. Here, she's... I'll pick her up, because she's... Carol, oh, she there. left. She's literally like, the call's yeah. gone out. Oh, wow. Oh, she looks growly. Sometimes she's like, why are you touching me? Yeah, and hey, did I get to sign a contract to be on here? Good yeah. morning, Shauna. This is Karma, and we love Karma. Yeah. Yes, look, I'm even touching her this morning. She's the old guard. She's going on 10. And she's like... Oh. She tries to keep the kittens in line, but... They'll have none of it. None of it. All right, friends, <laughs> it's time. What did we talk about on Sunday? Mm. I know what we talked about on Sunday. As do I. I'm still thinking about what we talked about on Sunday. As am I. It was good stuff. And I hope you've been rethinking your summer plans as a result of what mm. we talked about mm. on Sunday. So, yeah. Oh, Shady's like, hey, she got to be on there. What about me? <laughs> Not today. No. Look at that face. She also heard her name and her tail responds accordingly. Okay, camp. camp. Talk about camp. So shout out to uh, Aaron Balzer who came and shared with us on Sunday. And it was just such an inspiring message. Yeah. Like all the reasons why I love <clears throat> camp and promote camp. He reaffirmed and I was like. Yes, 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 yes. 
And uh, as I've said this so many times, I gave my, I first gave my heart to the Lord at a camp. I can't remember if it was a VBS camp or Wesley Acres camp because they kind of get mashed together in my mind. <laughs> mm. But I do remember the call going out and my whoop, mm. hand going up. Yes, Carmel is a beauty. She'd Super. probably love you, Velma. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And even like at our last year's summer camp, we had 18 kids come to know the Lord. And I remember uh, just, you know, as I think about that, that meant someone needed to organize something. That meant someone needed to give up a week of camp to come and hang out with the likes of me. Um, mm. There is a commitment that goes into making camps happen. But as a result, kids come to know Jesus. Yeah. yeah. And that's why, that's why we continue to promote them, that it is an opportunity for kids to come to know Jesus, but it's also an opportunity to grow in our faith. I remember uh, sitting down with so many kids and having conversations with them, and I was the one that was changed. Yeah. And so it's not just, um, you know, camp isn't just for kids. Well, that's it. And I don't know, um, like, how many stories are there of the the camp counselor? And he shared, he shared about mm -hmm. counselors being changed as well. The camp counselor who, um, the you know, the person who's supposed to lead the prayer time in the cabin uh, is sick or dealing with an emergency. And all of a sudden they're like, and I had to do it. And I had never prayed out loud before. <laughs> and then, and they come back and they're like, and I loved it. <laughs> and my life was changed. Or, or they, um, they're the ones that end up, um, you know, having the conversation with a kid that a kid comes to know Jesus and that, and then, and that like ha accepting Christ at camp can be life changing. Um, being a part of somebody accepting Christ at a camp can be really life changing, right? To be like, wow, like I, I prayed with somebody and they became a Christian. I want to do more of that and yeah. kind of catch a, an evangelism bug that way yes um yeah camp changes not only the campers but yeah yeah and just as he said i loved how he talked about at the beginning how camp meetings started uh, at least in the missionary alliance world and that whole idea of the time of testimony and prayer meeting and revival mm -hmm. and uh but they said that's far too enthusiastic for us <laughs> and i was like oh enthusiastic and that basically just means people just loving jesus yeah usually with hands and words and singing yeah which is normally the result of uh it's a response to a real work that yes. that god's doing and sometimes um the thing about camp that allows that especially when i think of like the camp meetings that he'd be talking about in like family camp at mm -hmm. um like up at severn or yeah. Um, or other free Methodist camps um, is that sometimes that work happens because we're we've stayed in one place we haven't moved on right like mm. um, on a and I, I'm not saying that we don't see God move at at church and on some days we do um, but we we need to move on right some days we need to move on um, Mm. youth night mm -hmm. we need to move on prayer meeting we need like there's things that we just need to move on for but when you're when you set aside a week uh to be at camp there's no moving on mm -hmm. so so you don't need to move on and so you can just sit and allow uh god to do what he's going to do and respond mm. accordingly as mm. well one of uh the ladies i talked with last week and i can't even remember oh yes i remember when i i remember who said it uh, she just said, we're over-programmed. Mm -hmm. And we actually don't have time to linger. And that's one of the things that the enemy, he's like, okay, you go to church on Sunday morning. It'll end at 11.15. Then you need to go get groceries. And then you need to get your laundry done. And then you need to cut the grass. And then you need to make sure the kid's homework is done. And then you, right? Mm -hmm. There's no time for lingering anymore. Because um, he, he lets you think, you made it to church. Okay, whatever. Yeah. You made it to church, but don't linger there. Check the box. Right? Don't <laughs> linger in those thoughts. Yeah. Don't linger with those people. You got to get going because yeah. you got stuff to do. But you checked off the box. And 
And yes, keep checking off that box. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's it's the lingering. And I know I can struggle with the lingering myself. Um, but camp is a time to linger yeah. with the Lord. And, um, and that's what makes the change. So yes, like keep checking off the boxes mm -hmm. of reading your Bible and praying. Because those are really important. Because you never know how the Lord is going to speak to you. Right. Um, so even if it is the two or three minutes or, you know, you got up the Bible app and you read the verse, then that's fine. Right. But, but it's the, when, when you feel called to linger. Yeah. Then you but I think linger. you said something that was very important there. Like keep checking off the boxes because you never know how God is going to speak to you. Mm. So check off the boxes with the intention of how is God going to speak to me? Um, and, and I think that involves also, um, like that's checking off the boxes, but that's trying new things. Yeah. And so like finding a way to be a part of camp because there's a possibility that you might hear from the Lord in that mm. time and in that experience. Mm. Yes. So as example, so this morning I, when I'm on my stationary bike, I do a couple of things. I will either prepare the Devo for the morning <laughs> or I will rehearse my memory verses. Well, I, 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 worked on the Devo and then I thought, Oh, I'll just read the Bible app message for today. And I was like, wow, is that ever good? And then I didn't know who the lady was. So I actually, um, went and checked out her webpage and I was like, Oh wow. Oh, I wonder she has some speaking engagements. When is she? And the conference that I wasn't sure that I was going to go to while I was on vacation, going now. she's speaking at it. <laughs> and I was like, lock it in. Wow. God, <laughs> right. Because, I chose just to, to spend that time with the Lord, right? It's, it's dedicated time and you never, that's why it's so important that you keep checking off the boxes because God will speak to you. Mm -hmm. Um, but also make that space to linger. That's one of the reasons why I love uh, chapel or evening service yeah. at yeah. camp because it really is a time to just linger in the tabernacle mm -hmm. and just, oh, and tabernacle means Tent of meeting. Where God meets with us, yeah. He wants to come and meet with us. He's, and it's actually a, a verb, right? He tabernacles with us. He tabernacles with us. Yes. And uh Elizabeth is saying, Time with the Lord is never wasted. Making space for God is how we linger and and how we love others. Mm -hmm. So true. Uh Joshua, it says um, that Moses would leave the tent of meeting and Joshua would remain. Mm -hmm. And I was like, <sighs> mm -hmm. right. And, and maybe that's what camp is about for you this summer is actually making space to remain with right. God to just, um, so I've heard so many stories about people going to camp and he said this, people will go to camp who don't go to church. Yeah. And then they go to camp, Jesus gets a hold of them, and then they're changed. Mm -hmm. And I've had that story happen to a couple people that I know, and I'm just like, because yeah. camp is safe. Yeah. And and I love that it, he said that when, um, when, we feel, when we feel supported and loved, we change. And that welcome and acceptance comes from Jesus. And I think sometimes it's that... Um, like people will go to camp who won't go to church because they don't think they'll get that at church and they don't know what to expect at camp and they get it at camp. Now, the great thing about that is that the people at camp are the church. <laughs> and so, uh, so I think that the understanding becomes then, oh, love and acceptance comes from Jesus. Jesus is at this church thing. Um, maybe I should go check that out. And, and and then find that you can receive love and acceptance at church as well. Because yes. <laughs> it's not it's not that you and I and I understand people have been hurt at church and, and have um received the opposite. Um but the the purpose and the goal in us gathering is that love and acceptance is actually extended and um yeah and placed as an invitation to uh, explore Jesus and what he has. Yeah. 
So uh, Aaron said on Sunday that we go to camp to experience Jesus, but we also experience community, renewal, and creation. Mm. And so we want to encourage you today to make space for Jesus this summer. Uh, we need volunteers for our two summer camps. We need them. So if you're thinking now, yeah, but could you just surrender the butt to the Lord? I know we've said this before. <laughs> surrender the butt to the Lord and ask him to walk out the yeah. Mm -hmm. um, because there is a child or a young adult or a youth or another team leader that needs you because mm -hmm. you are important. Yep. Okay? You are important. You might be the key to someone stepping into faith in Jesus. And so it's the enemy who puts the butts in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's all we got to say. Go to camp. Go to camp. All right. You going to pray? Yeah. <sighs> Heavenly Father, um, I'm still lingering on the invitation to linger and... Um, yeah, just that you extend that invitation to us. And um, my prayer for myself is that I will seek out mm. opportunities to linger, to um, not just stop at finding the Christian activity, um, but to enter into those activities with the expectation of experiencing and hearing from and being changed by you. We thank you so much for uh, Aaron and his message and um, the reminders of the ways that you are present and at work at camp and the opportunities that exist to experience you in a life-changing way, uh, both for campers and for those who help out. And so um, would we honestly explore opportunities for uh, involvement in camp, whether it be uh, RVBS or Seven Bridge or one of the many other camps uh, across Ontario or the country. Um, yeah, each of us have uh, potential opportunities to, to be involved in camp in some capacity. And um, my prayer is that we would take it seriously mm. and that we would. Um, yeah, just make make those decisions uh, with the expectation of, of hearing from you, Lord. We pray this through Jesus. Amen. 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 So our dear friends, it's going to be a great, great day because the Father loves us, Jesus is with us, and the Holy Spirit's going to guide us. Yeah. And there's no more eclipse to stare at and, and the world and <laughs> stuff. Stuff. So... <laughs> with that in mind. Grab a coffee or yeah. a glass of juice, glass of water. Remember to like, share, go outside. Help your community experience Christ. Bye. Bye.